14 years after the release of Borat, Borat returns to the United States from Kazakhstan, and this time he discovers more about the American culture, the pandemic, and the 2020 elections. Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to Movie Files. Elliot here today to share with you all my spoiler-free review for Borat subsequent movie film, also known as Borat 2. Very excited to let you all know what I thought about this film, and if you should check it out in this spoiler-free review before we dive into it, as you can see on the screen now, make sure you're following me on all my other social media accounts. That way, you can stay up to date on what's going on over here at Movie Files. If you are new to this channel, welcome to Movie Files. Make sure you all subscribe to the channel, and while you're at it, hit that bell so you don't miss any my other movie reviews, TV reviews, live streams, all the fun things we do on this very channel. Make sure you all give this video a thumbs up. Really helps with the channel, but I also really appreciate it. And in the comments below, let's discuss this film. First and foremost, are you a fan of Borat, the 2006 film? And then when it comes to you seeing this movie, let's discuss it. Your pros, your cons, some of your favorite moments in do you want to see more from Borat and his daughter and maybe a sequel, a third film in this franchise? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So when it comes to 2006 film, it's been a while, 14 years ago, man. Number one, the world was completely different, right? And then number two, the landscape of comedy is completely different. The things that we might have found funny 14 years ago is very different as far as taste and being you know, offensive and people taking uh, uh, offense to certain jokes and so when I saw this trailer, well, first off, when I heard they were making a sequel and then when Amazon bought it and then when I saw the trailer, I'm just like, man, I have to see this film because I just want to know what's the pulse? What's the is what's the zeitgeist? What's the conversation in this film? We're dealing with a pandemic. We're dealing with elections. We're dealing with particular cameos that I was very surprised with seeing in this movie. So uh, let's get into it. Let's just get into the positives first and foremost. So you have Borat going on this adventure, going on this journey back to America to gift a particular gift to Mike Pence. Now, as you might imagine, things don't play out as they are, and he has a new tag team partner with him this time. It's not his best friend, it's not his producer, but it's his daughter, and that's what I want to kick things off with. I thought the chemistry between the two characters, Borat and his daughter, who's 15 years old, uh, Tudor is her name, and Irina Novak, I thought she was great. Now, the first 10, 15 minutes, I found the jokes to be very very generic, just very stereotypical. You know what kind of jokes to expect when you have a daughter and for a Borat character and how he treats women, how he thinks about women, they can't drive, can't make their own decisions. Those jokes just became a little bit repetitive and kind of dull. But as the film kind of unpeels itself and you kind of get to know Tudor, I found her to be very funny. Again, the actress, I'm not too familiar with her. I don't even know if she's been in any other movies, but Irina Novak was very funny. Again, it is a very interesting thing to put a new character and play it against this outrageous character character bigger than life character in Borat and seeing someone go back and forth with Sasha Baron Cohen I thought she did a really good job and kind of really held her own and if I'm being honest there was a point in the movie when I was more intrigued with her character than I was Borat but speaking of Borat Sasha Baron Cohen I mean no matter your your personal thoughts on the guy uh you know whether side of you know whether it be religious reasons or you know political reasons I know that he's not for everyone but I find him to be very great not, not only as an actor but as a comedic genius and I thought that he had the the right flavor for this film. Again, without spoilers, there are certain subject matters within this film, certain groups of people within this film, genius, scientists, uh, and the conversations among certain group of people that I found to be very fascinating. It still blows my mind the way some people act and think in this world, but there are a lot of good moments, and I think Sasha Barracona really does capture kind of what 2020 is all about and how certain people think and how certain people act. And I found the comedy for the most part to work. And, and that goes to the brilliant writing of Sasha Baron Cohen. And I think there was like 10 other writers <laughs> of this film, but I found for the most part, the comedy, which is very subjective to work on a lot of levels, which also brings me to the story. Now, surprisingly, this film does have a pretty good story when it comes to, of course, there's the craziness, there's the, you know, interacting with certain people, there's the costumes and all that stuff. But the story of Borat and his daughter Tudor as, again, this 15-year-old who comes from this country who is who oppresses their women and women don't have opinions, seeing her kind of branch out and her father stuck in his ways, which kind of plays into this idea of 2020 and how we have people that are stuck in the old times and stuck in kind of some really crazy thoughts on women and people in general 
But seeing Borat kind of make that switch and his daughter helping him make that switch. I kind of really enjoyed that story. And it was pretty enduring and pretty uh, charming by the end of the film. I'll just kind of leave it at that. But again, the heart and soul of this film is Borat going on this journey with his daughter and them discovering their relationship as a a daughter and uh, a father and also the interactions amongst that journey was pretty entertaining. So without getting into the details, there were some scenes that I wrote down that stood out to me without context. I'll just say the baby scene. Uh, the scene involving the ball and let's just say the blood moon, I found to be a very Borat scene and didn't expect it to go there, but it went there. Uh, let's just say story time with Borat's daughter's, uh, babysitter. I found that whole scenario with the lady in the car and the driving in the story about a young woman, um, maybe exploring herself. I found to be very funny. And then when it comes to her, uh, tutor going to this women's empowerment conference very funny stuff uh and then also like i mentioned without getting into context there's uh, some scientists that make an appearance in this film that i found to be very funny and then without spoilers the last 10 minutes of this film will blow your mind there's a couple cameos and there's a particular cameo that i'm just like i wonder how this will be handled and then there's another cameo that i just found to be one of the funniest cameos of 2020 and when you see the film you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm just gonna leave it at that so uh, at the end of the day look Kami is very subjective. There's some jokes that, and I'll get into my criticism, there's some jokes I didn't find to be funny. I do know that there will be jokes in this film that people see that will be very triggering uh, for many different reasons, and I'll just kind of leave it at that. But for the most part, the jokes that I found to be funny, I found to be pretty hilarious. And those scenes I just mentioned, I, I had a good time with those. Now, transitioning into my criticisms, I mentioned it briefly. The first half of the film, to me, just tr- almost tried to kind of do the lightning in the bottle again where they're trying to rehashing some of the jokes that were funny 14 years ago that aren't too funny now so I found the first half of the film to be kind of very generic and again trying to repeat what the first one did and then again jokes um, what I find funny you might not find funny and vice versa but I found some of the jokes to be very kind of unoriginal and also go way too long there's a lot of different skits in this film that I found to be just like okay can we go to the next scene and then I had mentioned it briefly guys Borat's he's he's a superstar he's a funny character the, the mockery style that Sasha Baron Cohen does and this character is very funny but there is a part in this film a good 15 minutes of the film where I'm just like I don't care to be with Borat right now I want to go to Tudor I want to go to his daughter and it, it 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 goes to play that number one they really made a character that I found to be intriguing but also Borat I found this film to be a little neutered at time if I'm being honest they they went to some heights that I didn't expect them to go but at the same time I found them to be very kind of kind of tame that point and I'm just like oh this is interesting again I guess they are kind of you know holding themselves back because it is a different climate than it was 14 years ago so overall look I know this film isn't going to be for everyone and I completely understand if people are going to stay the hell away from this movie for their own personal beliefs but is this film funnier than the first I'm just going to flat out say no but as an hour and a half mockumentary uh, comedy film I had a good time with it I found it to be a solid comedy I found it to have a pretty interesting story and those scenes and those cameos really made it a good time. I'm going to give Borat 2 a solid 3 out of 5. So that's my thoughts on the film. Once you all have seen it in the course, let me know your thoughts, your pros, your cons. What moments did you find to be the funniest? And like I said up top, do you want to see more Borat having his tag team with his daughter? Let me know what you all think about that. And would you like to see more of it in the comments below? As always, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you all for watching this video. Hope you're staying safe. And we'll see you in the next video.